It is the Nativity Fast in the Orthodox Church starting today, goes until Christmas. I've been planning a kind of great reset of my own, focusing back up on all aspects of my life. The plan was it was going to start November 1st, and I have been repeatedly pushing back this date, but God seems to be kind of calling me back in saying, okay, here's your opportunity. The Nativity Fast is a time where all Orthodox Christians refrain from eating meat, dairy, oil, fish. Essentially, you have to go vegan. Um, but there is dispensation where you're, you are allowed a little more freedom on weekends and Tuesdays and Thursdays. There are certain things that you're allowed to have that are not allowed on strict days. Regardless, the point is, this is going to allow me to focus a lot. Fasting and, and restricting your diet is a great way to clear your head. It's a great way to refocus your attention to God. And that's the purpose of it, preparing for the celebration of Christ's birth. Simultaneously, um, I'm going to take advantage <clears throat> and do what I was speaking of, a, a reset of my own and get back to my creative work get back to a regimented routine and develop what my daily life is going to look like going into the future and cutting out some of these old bad habits that I've developed procrastination uh, kind of floating and, and wanting every day just to be whatever I feel like that day and building that discipline to to wake up and say this is what needs to be done today, so this is what will be done. Uh, I'm starting a new job. Uh, same company, but I'm transferring to our criminal unit. I work with mentally disabled individuals in a group home, but I'll be going to our, essentially it's like a jail, and working with you know the more violent individuals. And I'm actually really excited for that. I think it's going to be a good job for me. It's a lot more money. It will allow me to get my own place and start gaining some independence. And these are the things I wanted to speak about and just kind of offer some perspective to people on developing as, as young people right out of high school. I know everyone's at a very different point um, and people have different goals for <clears throat> what they're trying to change about themselves. Uh, and frankly, I'm sure we all have a lot that we want to change. Just wanted to come on here and, and talk about my specific goals. So one of the big things I'm trying to put focus on is building community. I think we're all being incredibly atomized out of high school. If you didn't go to college, it's like your social life just goes to hell. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to Orthodox Church planning to join and be baptized as soon as I can. And that is a great way to find a community. I mean, the people at, at these parishes are, are lovely and uh, adds a lot to my life. Just the little bit I've attended has already uh, been amazing for me. So that's definitely essential. It's a great way to meet like-minded people. So if you around my age, even if you don't believe, if you know people who are Christian, if they ever invite you to church, definitely go with them because you'll meet people who have their lives at least somewhat together. Obviously, people in church are not always going to be better people or more responsible or anything, but you're guaranteed to meet at least some people who are living balanced lives, and these are the influences you want in your life, even if you're not a Christian reorganizing and, and kind of reconstructing my faith now that I've come to the conclusion that orthodoxy is the way uh, that's going smoothly so far. Next is returning to my kind of artistic uh, spirit and, and stop. You know, I don't want to keep stifling this. Um, I, I stopped using my old YouTube channel, which to be honest, I kind of regret because I had put years of work into building, you know, it was a small audience, but, you know, I told myself, well, I'm just going to go hard on the new channel and I'll surpass it fast, which I still believe I, I'm capable of doing. 
Um, and, and that's a goal for the future. But I will say I, I kind of regret my thinking for why <clears throat> I stopped using my old channel. Because I essentially said like, oh, these videos are just, they're just kind of silly for entertainment. And I should really make something with more purpose and, and do things that teach people and whatever. So that was my idea with Vulture was like, I'll talk about things that matter and blah, blah, blah. I think I had a very pretentious attitude about it. And frankly, I think I lost a lot of artistry in translation. I miss my experimentation. I miss playing more with aesthetics. I miss just art being a fun thing. I still care about what ideas I'm conveying. I still care about sending the right message and making art that points to God, that glorifies him, that doesn't glorify depravity or, or bring shame to, to God or anything like that. I think art serves a purpose in society and that's beautification and glorifying the creator. But that doesn't mean that all art has to be made in this analytical kind of way. That's just like, what are we trying to say? Say it as clearly as possible. Um, I think that's kind of anti-artistic. And I fell into that type of mindset for a while. So I'm moving out of this phase where I'm doing a lot of self-help guru type BS. Moving out of trying to make uh, video essays and lectures and stuff. Um, it's just, it, it, I wanted to develop myself intellectually more and that was coming out in my videos. I was kind of acting like an intellectual, but the reality is I'm not, uh, I'm a moron and I want to embrace that a little more. Not that I, I'm not trying to educate myself. I'm reading a lot more and I'm going to continue to do so and develop my worldview. But I'm jumping the gun. I've always been the type of person to get involved in something and kind of think like I'm an expert before, long before I really am. And I come on here and try to teach people about things I barely know myself. And I know that that's a huge thing on YouTube. Tons of people do that. But I, I think I should be better than that. And I miss making art anyways. I want to make movies. I want to do things that are visually pleasing and that beautify the world. Uh, and attack this new movement of just ugly, nasty, gross, demonic art that I find evil. So, these are some of my goals right now. Of course, still on the fitness thing, still lifting all the time. I'm about to go to the gym right now. <clears throat> For this fast, because I'm not going to be eating meat or dairy, it's, I'm going to be pounding a lot of eggs, a lot of peanut butter and avocados, and trying to just um, get protein where I can. I'm hoping that I don't lose gains and I'm going to be really pushing heavy weight to make sure I keep my tendons and ligaments and muscles used to, to feeling that weight. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to be, it's going to be like a, a cut too. I, I've been considering doing a cut for a while because I'm getting some chub down here and I really was actually planning on doing a bulk for the winter, but this will be a kind of a quick shortcut to lean me up a little bit and then I'll go into a bulk until summertime and uh, I think it'll actually work out quite well I notice I'm starting to feel that divine grace at work again when I first came to Christ when I first became uh, deeply interested in Christianity it felt like everything just came into place like no matter what was going on things just kept improving and improving and I was praying a lot reading a lot of the Bible really focusing on learning about God and it felt like everything was just coming together, you know, and I could feel God's presence a lot. He was working in my life and somewhere along the way I started to drift from that and actually, strangely enough, in coming to orthodoxy, I drifted pretty far because I start, I kind of, I got discouraged by the fact that uh, a lot of what I thought was true, I was starting to believe wasn't really true. I never doubted, I never questioned my faith that God is real and that Jesus Christ is God. But I did start to doubt if I had been doing anything right all this time. And I'm finally getting back to a place where I have confidence in my beliefs again. I feel like I know to a certain extent what I'm supposed to be doing. And at the very least, I know where to go for guidance. And 
it feels really good. It feels very reassuring. But yeah, it definitely feels like divine grace is at work again in my life. It feels amazing. And I know it was it's always been at work. It never stopped. But I was feeling very chaotic and lost there for a period of time during this transition. And it's not completely over yet, but it's definitely, I'm through the thick of it, I think. Now, some of my big goals are to keep being consistent on social media. I've finally gotten some growth happening on TikTok. I want to really capitalize on that and keep moving on that. But stop consuming quite so much. Fell back into that habit as I fell further out of prayer and, and things and uh, kind of losing some focus with my faith. I also found myself indulging in certain things more that I had been really, really strict and good about. So these are some important things to be changing. And like I said, I'm, I'm done giving out advice. I'm going to try to talk more about my specific, what's happened in my life and not say like, this is what you should do. Because I know we're all on a different kind of, we're all on different timing here. And I've just realized that advice is really worthless. You know, no one listens to advice and really I don't know that they should. Uh, there are a l very limited number of people who you should actually take advice from. And random teenagers on the internet who look like freaking porn stars are probably not it. That was a joke about my mustache, in case you didn't get it. Uh, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm, I'm going to make a movie. I'm going to start making some short films to get back in the habit because, you know, I was kind of working on the skill of filmmaking there for a long time, but I stopped and I'm surely going to be very rusty now, but I also know a lot more about the world and have a lot more to say than I did back then. So I'm excited to see what I, what I can do. Um, and also community outreach is, is a huge thing I, I want to focus on developing uh, a network of people, like-minded individuals who can work together and, and, and move towards a common goal of beautifying society and combating some of this evil, evil shit that's going on. So uh, I should be saying this in every video, but if any time someone's watching this and and agrees with what I'm saying or, or thinks, you know, I'd like to talk to the, to, to my boy Noah over here. My my socials are, are linked below and I'd really appreciate a DM from anyone, even if it's just to say what up. Uh, I want to talk to people. I want to, you know, if you agree with what I'm talking about, you, you're aware and, you know, I think it's important to connect in some way with people who can kind of understand your perspective because it's a very atomizing thing it's, you know it's bad enough when you don't go to college you graduate high school and your social life goes to shit it's even worse when you have this kind of you know kind of radical worldview um you know that really goes against the majority of the people you're gonna be around and that's honestly why i think a lot of people refuse to hear it because they're like you know, it could be true, but I don't want to deal with, with that knowledge. And I can't say I blame people for it. Now, I don't regret learning anything I have. And I don't regret gaining the understanding I have about the world and about religion and philosophy and everything. It's certainly, you know, it's been a blessing and a curse, but, but life is not always about happiness. You know, sometimes suffering is a, is a big part of it. And, and taking that on the chin and, and being a man about it. And it's been a very rough couple of weeks recently. I've been feeling really down and out and just like lost in the world. But I'm finally balancing out and coming back to this place where I am, I am prepared to do what I got to do. And I don't feel this dread overhanging me. But, you know, I've, I think I've talked long enough. I appreciate anyone for watching this video. I hope that you guys are focusing up in the same way. I hope you'll take advantage of the cold season and 
you know, cut out some of your bad habits. Really get back to your purpose. Take back your purpose, baby. That's the slogan. I've decided. Uh, you know, I've, I've played around with some different slogans for Vulture, and I'll still use multiple different ones, but our main tagline from now on is going to be take back your purpose. I think it perfectly sums up what I'm about, what Vulture's about, what our community, what we're building towards. We're taking back our purpose as men. We are here to lead. We're here to protect. We're here to serve God. And we're here to build society. We're here to protect it from darkness, not to wallow in it, not to mope about it or complain that we're in this situation. We're here to reclaim the situation. And that's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys are all working towards that. I hope you're feeling the joy of life. Uh, and if you're in a period where you're kind of dreading things, I hope you realize that God's with you. He's working with you. And if, and if you're staying focused and, and working hard to get where you need to be, staying in prayer, you know, doing all the things you know you got to do, God's with you, babe. He's going to work with you. And you're going to get to where you need to be. And the feelings, you know, they're, they're always going to fluctuate. There's going to be periods where we feel like everything's hopeless. And there's going to be periods where we're riding high. You can't get addicted to either feeling. You can't get comfortable. It's okay to feel happy. It's okay to feel a little nihilistic. You just have to always maintain the same mindset. It shouldn't affect your behavior. All right. <clears throat> Here I am giving more advice after I said I'm not going to. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. All right. I love you guys. I thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a beautiful winter season, and I'll see you again soon.